What is up guys, Rampage here bringing you another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. And this is against Malbone19, and this was a really good battle. I hope you guys enjoy. So he's going to lead off with a Mew, and I'm going to lead off with my Landlos. I'm going to switch out because last time I faced off a lead Mew with my Landlos, it had Ice Beam and it was Scarfed, so I didn't want to take the chance. So I'm just going to switch out to my Raikou. So he actually goes for the Willow Esp on my Raikou, which isn't too bad, but it's not good because it's residual damage and stuff, and that's never good. If it's on you, at least. So now I'm just going to go for the Vault Change on his Switch and his Zapdos. I get a crit, and it does half. I'm not sure if that crit mattered. It might have, though, but who really knows for sure? Because now I'm actually going to be able to finish him off with a Double Chop from my Ono Nakusu, and that also gets a crit, but that crit didn't matter because it would have been a two-hit KO anyway. And Double Chop hits two times, so yeah. So he's going to go out to Starmie, which is obviously faster. And I'm just going to go out into my Naturi to take the Ice Beam. And I see that it's Life Orb, so it's not Scarfed or Specs or any way, which is kind of good. So now he's going to bring back out his Mew, and I'm just going to go for the Rocks. Which is good, because they're Rocks. Come on now. When are Rocks not good? Seriously. You always need your Rocks up. Gosh. So he actually is going to go for the trick on my Naturi, and I really didn't think it was going to have. I didn't really think he was going to have trick because he had he uh, Will O Wisp, and I keep stuttering and instead of stuttering and like I just ugh. So anyway, I go for the leech seed on him, and then he switches out into his ape, and I'm also going to switch out into my Raikou, and I'm just going to go for the vault change, and I just wanted to you know go for the vault change because I wanted to. Not sure what that ape would do, or, uh, so, yeah. So now I'm going to come out into my Naturi and take the close combat, because, just because, I wanted to get some Steel Thorns damage on it, and I really didn't know what move he was going to go for, and Naturi is just basically dead to me since the Scarf now. I say that that ape is life for, but that doesn't matter at all, because he's about to die from killing my Naturi, so, yeah. So now he's going to go back out into his the, the, his Starmie, and I'm going to go out into my Landlos, which was a bad switch, because his Starmie packs Ice Beam. So yeah, I'm actually going to switch out, but he switches out too and goes out to his Metagross as I go out into my Dusclops, which isn't a bad switch for me, because I can try and get a Will-O-Wisp off on this thing. And I knew he would go out into his Mew because Mew has synchronized, but getting a Willow Wisp off on Mew wouldn't be bad either because it'd be residual damage. So now I'm going to switch out into my Vaporeon, and he's going to go for the Rocks, which isn't bad because. Well, I mean, that is bad. He got his Rocks up. I don't know what I'm talking about. He's going to go for the Willow Wisp. And that's not too bad because that's gonna um because now I can actually get a toxic off safely without worrying about synchronize. So yeah. He's actually gonna switch out into his his lulls, and I'm also gonna switch out into my into my Raikou because I knew that his Mew isn't really doing much to my Raikou. So yeah, that's cool. And um I'm just gonna go for the V C the vault change. Oh yeah, that's that's cool. V C just going to go for the VC on his Onanakusu, out into my Landlos, and yeah. Um, I knew he was going to Dragon Dance, and I knew the only way to beat this thing was to fodder my Landlos, and then finish him off with a Hidden Power Ice with my Scarfed Raikou. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let him lock himself in the Outrage, and I'm just going to come out into my Raikou, go for the, um, what's this move called, the HP Ice, and I am faster because I'm scarfed, even though he has a Dragon Dance up, and that is going to be able to KO his, his on an Akusu or his Haxorus or wh whatever you want to call that thing. It doesn't matter to me at all. So now I'm going to switch out into my Dusclops again because he went out into his Metagross, which can take my um, Raku out easily because I was locked in the HP Ice. So now he goes for the Meteor Mash on me. He's trying to be like. Captain Falcon and go for Falcon Punch But no my Dust Club scares him out into his Mew and I go for the Willow Wisp on it and get it burned. Yeah, I burn his Mew, which is cool because it's damage on it constantly. But the bad thing is I get burned. So I'm guessing he predicted a switch and went for the Willow Wisp, probably predicting my own in the Kusu. But that's not what happened and yeah, good stuff. So now I got a rest up, which is great because I don't have to burn anymore. And good stuff again. 
So now he's going to go out into a Starmie, and he's going to go for the Surf, and that looks like a 3-hit KO, which is kind of bad, but not really. Cause, well, not really, because now I'm able to wake up, and he's just going to go for another Surf. That's not going to KO me, and I will be able to KO him with a Shadow Sneak. I guess he decided to stay in because his Starmie didn't really have it. His time only really had one more hit in after the um, Stealth Rocks if he decided to switch out. So, yeah, I'm going to just go for the Seismic Toss on his dumb gross metal thing um, when he misses Bullet Punch. And, I'm not Bullet Punch, what the fuck am I thinking? When he misses Meteor Mash. So he actually hits the second Meteor Mash, and then he gets the Attack Raise. And I'm hoping that this thing doesn't have Bullet Punch because that'll hurt a hell of a lot. So now I'm just going to go for the Shadow Sneak just to get that little bit of damage off on it. And, yeah. I really, I really don't know what good Metagross really is nowadays. Like, you don't see the Gilligross too much anymore. I guess the best use for Metagross now is, like, is Stealth Rocks, I guess. So anyway, I'm able to KO this Metagross with an Earthquake easily. And since I'm Bandit, I should be able to KO that Mew, but he does, just decides to give up. So, that was a good game, Marvone. Really hope to battle you again sometime. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you comment, re-subscribe, check out his channel. I'll leave the link in the description. And, um, peace out.